Hey, this is Dr. Jonathan Ellerby, and I want to talk to you a little bit about why would somebody want to do integrative spiritual therapy? Now, I have another video that talks about what is integrative spiritual therapy, um, but in a nutshell, integrative spiritual therapy is a, a bit of a blending of things that would be familiar and unfamiliar to you. So there's an element of coaching in integrative ther spiritual therapy, which means I'm very interested in helping you build plans and strategies and practices so you can get into the doing of what's next. So we are, we are definitely concerned with how you're going to move forward and turn insights and beliefs and, and dreams and wishes and all that kind of stuff into reality. But there is also a therapeutic element. So this is very much the why that you would typically expect from a counselor, a psychologist, a therapist. So we're definitely going to be exploring how did you end up in this moment? And how does your life story contribute to that? And how does your perception of your life story contribute to that? Are there um, addictions, traumas, mental health issues, uh, substantial life changes, losses that have shaped your identity, your sense of self, and ultimately how you move and work in the world? But probably the most defining feature, and this leads us into why would somebody want integrative spiritual therapy, is that integrative spiritual therapy focuses on your journey over the arc of a lifetime. And, and for some people, it may even be beyond that. So in integrative ther spiritual therapy, we think of you as a soul or, uh, or as a true self, an essence that is not just trying to accomplish things, as perhaps you might think of in coaching, and it's not just trying to heal or address pain or suffering or limitations as you might associate with therapy. Our ultimate context and direction is the fullest experience of life with specific attention to meaning, purpose, and what I personally would call spiritual growth. Although, we use the language that makes the most sense to you. So for some people, the journey of life is the journey of consciousness. For others, it's about personal evolution. For others, it's about spiritual growth. I don't really care what you call it. But when we work together, it's important that you understand that I see you as more than the sum total of the things that have happened to you. I see you as being here with an absolute purpose that is both personal and universal. For me, your understanding of your place in the cosmos, of your most important relationships, of your values, of your beliefs about what it means to be human, these things are absolutely essential. And they're not just philosophical. These are the orientation points that help us to make sense of our lives. So that if there are things to heal, to mend, to repair, uh, to grow or transform, we have a context in which to do it. If there are things to achieve, to plan, to strategize, we have a context in which to do it. If you don't have a lot of use for a, a journey of purpose, of meaning, of, of spiritual guidance and direction, well, there's real no, really no point to it. But if you have a sense that there's more to you than what people see. If you believe in things like intuition and energy and the interconnection of life and the universe, then these things should be a part of your therapeutic process. These things should not be things that you're shy about or ashamed of. These things can be fundamental elements of our time together. Why integrative spiritual therapy, because you understand that your worldview, your consciousness is ultimately the container that shapes the way you think, your relationship to your emotions, and it even informs the energy 
of your body and your life. In integrative spiritual therapy, we know that everything is connected. We know that everything is energy. We know that everyone is not only connected, but that we live in an interdependent universe in which all things are ultimately one in the wholeness of our existence, in the wholeness of our universe, and yet our absolute unique identity, our absolute purest sense of authenticity is how we best participate in this oneness. Regardless of our culture, our race, our age, our stage, integrative spiritual therapy holds you as something more than what you've ever considered or conceived. You are an expression of consciousness. Truly, a miracle unfolding. And no matter what you may face in work, relationship breakdown, or personal struggle, we always move to what I would call a higher level. In integrative spiritual therapy, the problem is never the problem. Your relationship to the problem and your story of life that informs it, your experience of consciousness, self, and the universe is what is shaping your relation to that problem and what that problem may have to teach you, to reveal about you. And so in integrative spiritual therapy, everything in your life becomes an opportunity. Everything in your life becomes a chance to learn and love and let go and grow. We see all things affirmatively. We see things positively. We see the potential to transform the greatest suffering, the greatest despair, the greatest injustice and inequity, and see it as an opportunity for the healing of self, of community, and the world beyond our imagination. So, if you would like your greatest sense of self and your spiritual universe, your spiritual values, to be a part of your healing, growing journey, let's talk. Feel free to contact me through my website you can send me an email. Maybe we can have a consultation and see if it's right for us to take this journey together.